All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and now welcome. Welcome to a game between, well, Entei versus War Chief, War Chief Rich, War Chief, War Chief Rich. This game taking place here on Echo Isle. Entei has spawned as the Red Undead over here on the top left hand side of the mouth, me, uh, map, mouth, map can't even speak clearly today. Entei spawning over here on the top left hand side of Echo Isle. Meanwhile, War Chief Rich spawning as the Blue Night Elf over here on the top right. European Pro Tour qualifier um, getting in a lot of really great, really great matchups. I've got to meet Entei. Thank you for the follow. Undead versus Night Elf here on Echo Isle. Um, you haven't seen this game before. You've you've seen every single matchup, Aria. Don't do no, not. Don't you, okay, you don't don't not remembering and not seeing a game before is very very different. different. Yes, very different things. Uh, best European player back from way back in 2015, 2016. He was winning with Moon, Alala, yet and Focus. All right, we'll see if he's able to get up to well strategies at his prime from four or five years ago as we're looking at a death knight going up against a demon hunter. All right, um, I was ex not surprised by these particular heroes. But at the same time, I could not definitely call that it was going to be a Death Knight versus a Demon Hunter with uh, so many players liking that Crypt Lord first. We'll see whether or not the Death Knight is going to be trying to go for a fast expansion or if he's going to try and change things up as that Ancient of War does what it always does. Uh, uh, well, uh, uses the Archer to aggro the creeps and then having the Ancient of War be there to absorb all of that damage. It's like that little little neighbor on the block um, who has a really big, big brother. The little neighbor just constantly harasses and tries to pick fights knowing that the big brother is there to, well, um, absorb all of that damage and fight alongside him just because, well, if he doesn't, his parents would get mad at him as well. All right, Ancient of War going to go ahead and absorb a bit more damage. Demon Hunter making its way out across. There's a detonation, beautiful detonation coming across from War Chief Rich. Split second timing, also wasting the mana from that Death Knight. And all of a sudden, the Death Knight out of mana completely. And all he has to show for it is a little bit of damage on the Demon Hunter. Very, very... Um, a very, very good point there. Demon Hunter now trying to retreat back as we see Entei trying to move forward with a large army of ghouls. Demon Hunter pretty much ig ignoring the ghouls right now, being forced to deal with the skeletal warriors. Not quite sure what was, was that about as we're looking at, oh, we could have a potential body block right here. Demon Hunter trying to make its way and, and make its rounds once again. Death Knight here opted to go for Death Coil when he may have wanted to actually go for, well, Unholy Aura first. All right, Blight could be placed down here in just a moment. There is another Mana Burn Entei getting up to 50 mana exactly before having it pretty much all burned off again. Low hit point Demon Hunt or low hit point Ghoul making its way back. We see an Ancient of War under construction right there. Demon Hunter most likely just going to Mana Burn and gets the kill. Demon Hunter gets the mana burn kill right there. Skeletal Minion falls apart. Escape, allowing an escape as the Demon Hunter is still coming back across here. All right, Ziggurat setting up some buildings. And we're going to see the detonation try and remove some of that blight, some of that dispel as the archers are now making their way back over. Death Knight perhaps wishing that there was more blight to be standing on. Skeletal Minions now back out onto the field as well. We are still rotating around as the archers and ghouls are in position. Demon Hunter in a little bit of trouble. He will be able to back up as there are just simply too many units swarming out on the field. Coming back through though, Entei is setting up a tree of life for an expansion of his own. Demon Hunter could have a very bad day indeed. Are we going to see death of a Demon Hunter? No. Down to 15 hit points. Great, great use right there. Haunted Goldmine goes down to 45. Entei able to hold on to this Haunted Goldmine. And now with these two Ziggurats well, ne uh, nearly done, he should be able to upgrade one to a Nerubian Tower, both to Nerubian Towers, to protect this expansion location. Did the detonate kill the skeletons? Yes. Beautiful, beautiful execution by both sides already. Demon Hunter, he was pretty much out of commission, but well, the instantaneous healing of Night Elf getting that um, Demon Hunter back into action. 
one of the reasons why Night Elf is just so strong in the early 1v1 matchup is that you can um, well you can easily norm over commit or commit a much of your army to fights early on and then still be able to come back for more if you have enough moon wells trying to heal up um, heal what 500 hit points on your first hero within the first five minutes of the game is nearly impossible for all of the other races and when i and I do mean instantaneous here there is a, de a denial right there naga sea which does have some cold arrows and we're gonna see some experience being given here four archers naga sea witch and demon hunter moving around as this tree of life should be ready to go and make its way down uh, to try and set up this expansion momentarily coming back off to the north necropolis finally teching the tier two and it is going to be some time before it is ready and well ready to move on death knight does have a pendant of energy but how much mana is that death knight really going to be able to get up to as the death knight does want to get to level three for level two death death coil however he was seven experience shy that's a weird way of saying night elf imba <laughs> all right night elf imba undead imba well depends a little bit on the matchup everyone has their own comments as we're looking at the ancient of war still absorbing quite a bit of damage all right war chief rich really controlling the pacing of this game knowing that he brought over this ancient of war to clear out the marketplace as the tree of life is going to go ahead and transition to that bottom right expansion Entei going to get creep jacked here in just a moment. Demon Hunter coming in with bearing gifts of mana burn as the Death Knight is going to lose all of that mana pretty quickly. There goes a couple more bits of damage. Another ghoul getting taken down. And Demon Hunter is absolutely having a field day finishing off all of these units, getting level 2 on that Naga Sea Witch. Thank you for the follows as the Demon Hunter will able to shoo Entei away. War Chief Rich playing at a very high level in this matchup. Is he going to be able to finish off this Ogre Mauler? Yes he will be able to do so getting to level three and now with level three demon hunter level two mana burn is on the table causing that many more issues tree of life will be wake, making his way back down a new ancient of wonders or new ancient an ancient of wonders being built here as we are going to perhaps be clearing up this 533 creep camp only to follow it up with this mercenary camp as well war chief rich has the next at least two minutes of this game set aside for him meanwhile well entei is needs to figure out how to best use his time he's going to be getting up a, a second hero once this necropolis is ready i believe it is going to be a lich but it still feels like entei is a bit behind what how are things going to unfold there is that lich now there is that halls of the dead and entei is setting or sitting on two bases so that economic advantage is allowing him to bla uh, blast past tier two to get to tier three as we should be getting up a slaughterhouse as well all right Th this is the, the moment where well things are just going to get a little bit more back to even a demon hunter uh, what double claws of attack plus six has a wand of illusion surprised that the naga sea witch was the one to pick up the pure up of vitality but then again with the death knight and an and a lich is surely coming in and um, well hero nuking is a definite definite possibility gloves of haste the perfect item for that naga sea witch as the naga sea witch does want to get off a lot of attacks to shut down well any fleeing units death knight now making its way over there is a tree of life entangling of the gold mine now completed demon hunter right there there's a death coil onto the demon hunter mana burn onto the death knight as we see a staff of preservation bringing that um what well, um demon hunter out of the battle one archer will get taken down we're gonna perhaps be seeing some additional items as well demon hunter well healed back up to full using that night elf advantage uh so far though a couple of skeletal minions gonna get sh and taken shaken down here nk knows that he doesn't need to rush anything as he still has that economic advantage he was out microing moon and oh well you guys you guys can talk in the chat and um, i got things to focus on over here like a warcraft 3 game and demon hunter naga sea witch both at three lich is sitting at level one wanting to get to level two um obsidian statues where are they getting trained up is where they are at still none yet out on the field as that lich well gonna be creeping by himself or itself can't quite tell the sex of of the lich or 
or I, uh, not I guess the sex that it identifies with as the Murloc and all of these units are going to go about well, get finished off here in just a second. Um, Tome of Agility will get picked up. Crypt Fiend right there. Um, Death Knight being brought back over. It does have boots of speed. or items being transferred around? Yes, the Lich does have claws of attack plus six as well. And we should be looking at an orb of corruption eventually now that tier three is completed. Do we have the backpack upgrade? No, we do not. So the Lich will have to retreat all the way back home to pick up that necessary item. Coming back through, Demon Hunter does have an Orb of Venom. Fork Lightning coming in from the Naga Sea Witch. Druids of the Claw are actually in Druid form. And normally, I'd like this play to get more mana. But going up against um, going up against the un Undead, um, you have to be very, very careful as the Hero Nuking does cause a very big issue. Druid of the Claw, this guy needs to turn into a Druid, in, into a, what's it called? into a drew into a bear soon otherwise a death coil frost nova would just um, shut him down and nearly remove half of his hit points in no time flat naga sea which making its move back across here demon hunter illusion and um, well causing harassment but not really doing anything else where are we going next? Demon Hunters, Bears, Bears, Archers, and Dryads ready to make a move. Level 3, Level 3 going up against a Level 3, Level 2, almost Level 3. Demon Hunter should be able to get to Level 4 um, at the opening of the battle. We are looking at a single Staff of Preservation. No Staff of Teleportation, however, coming in from Warchief Rich. As the Demon Hunter now dives on in the Tomb of Relics. Entei going to be brought back over. Crypt Fiends are now making their way across as well. Lich does have that Orb of Corruption plus 13 damage and also having a Ring of Regeneration. There was an Abolish Magic right there. Staff of Preservation saving that Dryad. But the Abolish Magic giving that Demon Hunter... Uh, level four always very sad or always ha have your heart drop just a little when a summoned unit gives your opponent um, an even level or a level up the only thing that's worse about it is if it gave an odd level up getting from level two to level three or level four to level five Naga Sea Witch rounding out the undead tri hero here. No Dark Ranger. Instead, going for a Naga Sea Witch. In interesting choice. Trying to use all of those cold arrows and over trying to use, uh, well, the dark or the, the lesser dark minions and dark ritual. Bears, there are lots, lots of them. 73 supply compared to 70. Warchief Rich getting in position. Bears are upgraded 1-1, one, one, and here we go. There is the starting engagement. Hippogriffs are standing in the back. You see a major Frost Nova go down here as the bears are just getting some, in some rejuvenations and still trying to fight through. Brilliant or good, well-timed Death Coil right there. Staff for Preservation saving. Warchief Rich trying to, trying to um, finish off a couple of those units here as a Scroll of Healing was used to save up some of those. Archers are in the back, still able to fight fair fairly freely as the bears are going after some of those units but not going after the crypt fiends all right naga sea witch or sorry um, lich couldn't be in trouble bear trying to chase after unable to chase up as the naga sea witch falls at level one all right this druid of the claw trying to retreat all the way back isn't going to be able to survive no goes up against an abomination and gets taken down in the process however an obsidian statue left behind right there one or two more shots one more shot mana burn should finish it off there it goes giving level four to that Naga Sea Witch. Uh, so far, Lich was able to escape at 24 hit points, probably, um, yeah, probably even lower considering the natural regeneration right there. Naga Sea Witch um, did not escape level four on the Demon Hunter and level four on that Naga Sea Witch. Entei now down by nine supply, reconsidering his options on what to, what to do to follow up. Hippogriffs are in the air, ready and ready to take on and challenge any destroyers that take to the skies. Thank you for the follow once more as Crypt Fiends are getting ready. Death Knight sitting at level 3, Lich sitting at level 2, almost level 3 as well. Once that Lich gets to level 3, you better believe that there's going to be a good number of 
well, a good number of frost novas uh, to be uh, to be had. Um, meanwhile, only one obsidian statue out here, and that obsidian statue doesn't have that much mana. That's actually a little bit of an issue, as the Death Knight low on mana, and so is that Lich. A new obsidian statue needs to be trained up, and this is going to give time for War Chief Rich to go after the Gargantuan Sea Turtle Creep Camp in the corner. Will it give level 5 to the Demon Hunter? No, I think he'll somewhere be around 4.8, 4.9 after that Gargantuan Sea Turtle is taken down. And um, and with that, um, we'll see what War Chief Rich tries to follow it up with. Yeah, 4.8, 4.9. What item was left behind? Tome of Intelligence and a Pure Up of Vitality. Um, very powerful items indeed. That Demon Hunter now very difficult to take out with 1100 hit points. All right, chimeras getting added in. War Chief Rich adding in a chimera, perhaps to deal with obsidian statues. You can see Entei rebuilding up that army specifically, and all of the creep camps have been cleared up. That's why Entei, Entei knew that he couldn't really venture forth anywhere. Sitting inside his base was actually the best option. This one of Destroyer able to take to the skies. Where is he going to try and f fly off to next? There is the Demon Hunter. Hippogriffs are right there. Um, they Archers do not have upgraded bows. Um, um, only 400 range and also not the increased damage as I would have expected them to have. Interesting, interesting use right there as Roar is now being used. Hippogriffs will, or the Riders will most likely dismount here in just a moment as a little bit of damage added onto that Destroyer right there. Chimera is going to shred those abominations. Yeah, but there's only one Chimera um, um, overall as the, well, Destroyer now getting ready to engage here. Abominations leading the charge. Crypt Fiends are in the back. Crypt Fiends most likely going to web down that Chimera. You have to be careful um, how everything is going to be unfolding as this Chimera, well, one Chimera should already be out on the field. Where is it? Unless it was canceled and retrained. Um, I could have sworn there was a Chimera being trained up. Oh yeah, War Chief Rich actually going into high upkeep and hiding these Chimeras. All right, this is a bit of a risky, risky play here. And um, going into triple chi or going into three Chimeras and going into high upkeep on a map like Echo Isle. Entei. If he can hold out on this map, there is very limited resources. If he's able to hold out, he'll be able to establish the economic advantage um, and he, as long as he doesn't actually try and force a fight. If Entei forces a fight while War Chief Rich has a 20 supply advantage, well, that's just going to go from bad to worse. Death Knight here, venturing forward, Ancient of War, easily going to get taken down, giving level 3 to that Lich, and that's exactly what Entei was hoping for, an easy bit of experience for level 3. All right, so Death Knight now retreating all the way back here. Entei does not want to push here. Um, he knows um, he, that he wants home field advantage. Fighting on Blight, definitely easier. War Chief Rich, on the other hand, now in high upkeep, getting corrosive breasts for that for that for those chimeras to well be able to deal damage to buildings. Um, New Rubian Towers, no Spirit Towers down across here. That Naga Sea, which is only sitting at level one. And Entei, um, being the calculating German player that he is, knows that he knows that he cannot uh, win win outright unless War Chief Rich makes a mistake. What does Corrosive do? Corrosive adds the ability for Chimeras to also do siege damage. So currently, right now, the Chimeras are only doing a magic attack. There is that Corrosive damage, adding in a siege range that is 400 range farther and able to deal damage to, well, effective damage against buildings. There is also Roar on these Chimeras as well. So this is causing a bit of pressure there. There's some Absorb Mana right there. And now Entei is ready to go into that high hundred supply battle all right as that was done well war chief rich with very very good eyes knowing you know what my opponent is staying in low upkeep my opponent is staying in low upkeep as instant the instant that those destroyers jumped into the sky said you know what i don't need to press now either as my opponent is probably in high upkeep as well um, trying to be able to read the situation and figure out the proper play by both sides 
All right, so all, there's another roar being used. However, the roar is just going to be feeding these destroyers, and that is the scary portion right there. All right, here's the next battle. Massive damage coming across on both sides. Hippogriffs getting webbed down. Archers, um, our archers are still on the back right there. As you see, um, well, Chimera's ripping through many of those abominations, and now perhaps going to be going after a, an, another abomination as well. Chimera's taking down abomination after abomination. 82 supply compared to 94 as Entei's supply is just dropping massively major major battle going down here the chimeras are all just stuck in their tracks right now as the naga sea which falls at level one demon hunter still going after some of the units in the back here 91 supply compared to 53 as the chimeras should shift their attention from the abominations to um to the um obsidian statues but we are looking entei down to no upkeep down to 48 supply compared to war chief riches 75 rejuvenation being used across uh, multiple units from the night elf army and these guys are going to be ready for action here in just a second uh, or, or what is going to be happening the chimeras still have a very good range there are some destroyers right there and well we're going to see that tomb of relics uh, suffer a little bit of damage trying to remove any form of home field advantage that's exactly what's happening here hippogriff hippogriff diving in after some of those units there's that mana burn and with this expansion getting well so much pressure things are just going to go from bad to worse demon hunter up to level six are we going to see metamorphosis not even needing it war chief rich has this game or has control of this game does lose a bear in the process though as the demon hunter still fighting his way through 80 supply compared to 48 at this stage i think he war chief rich has the entire game going for him he's not even using all of the tools available to him 75 supply naga sea which falls for a second time more units going to get taken down here perhaps going after an obsidian statue is a good call as we're looking at the well this obsidian statue down to dead as the crypt fiends get taken out as well metamorphosis finally being used saying you know what i need to close out this game Entei hasn't given the gg until now war chief rich taking down entei in this 1v1 matchup on echo isle war chief rich playing some great micro early on and then also doing a good job um, knowing when to attack his all of his units were well difficult um, difficult to train at the very end or took some time so he went into high upkeep first entei um really had nowhere else to go on a map as small as Echo Isle, not having the option to creep out anywhere else. He did get to level 3 on his Lich, but we never saw the explosive burst damage that is normally associated with um, undead heroes and undead nuking. Ultimately, in the end, by the time um, that final battle went down, all of War Chief Rich's units had high hit points. The Druids of the Claw, the Chimeras, the Archers were even on the Hippogriff Riders to have more hit points, thereby minimizing instantaneous deaths. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.